during the transaction of data and information between multiple devices the task of establishing maintaining and the sharing of data is handed over to the network model which also governs the protocols enacted on the transmitted data hi guys and welcome to yet another interesting video as simply learn but before we begin if you love watching tech videos subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us let's take a look at the agenda for today's session for today's session firstly we'll understand what exactly is the tcp ip model continuing with the protocols that are applied the layer structure in the tcp and ip model then we'll see the benefits of using tcp ip model and comparison between osi model and tcp ip model let's begin firstly we'll understand what exactly is the model the tcp ip model is a method of sharing data and information over the communication channel where the data has to go through each of the four layer structure of the network model where it also performs tasks such as remodeling of data efficient transmission and error related issues each layer has dedicated protocols that they enact on the transmission data now let's continue with the protocols that are used in the tcp ip model to understand the protocols that are used in the tcp ip model we'll compare it with the osi model and if you want to know more about the osi model you can visit our video on the simply learn channel let's begin the topmost three layers of the osi model which are application layer presentation layer and session layer collectively refers to the application layer in the tcp ip model where they use protocols such as ftp file transfer protocol http hypertext transfer protocol telnet and smtp which is simple mail transfer protocol then we have the transport layer from osi model which refers to the transport layer in the tcp ip model where they apply protocols such as tcp transmission control protocol and udp user datagram protocol moving on we have network layer from the osi model which refers to the internet layer in the tcp ip model which apply protocols such as ip internet protocol icmp internet control message protocol and arp address resolution protocol then we have data link layer and physical layer from the osi model which refer to the network access layer in the tcp ip model these layer doesn't exactly apply any protocol but are connected through physical medium which includes ethernet wifi and cables now that we are completed with the protocols regarding tcp ip model let's take a look at the layers in detail the tcp ip network model consists of different layers where the original model consists of four different layers which are application layer transport layer internet layer and network access layer then we have the updated model which consists of layer application layer transport layer internet layer data link layer and physical layer let's take a look at the layers in detail the first layer that we are going to know about is the application layer application layer this layer acts as an interface between the application and programs that require the tcp ip model for communication including tasks performed by the layer such as data representation for the software application that are executed by the user and then forwarded to the transport layer the protocol supplied by this layer is http hypertext transfer protocol which is used to access information available on the internet then we have smtp simple mail transfer protocol which is used to access email related tasks moving forward we have the transport layer this layer is responsible for establishing connection between the sender and the receiver device this layer performs the task of dividing the data from the application layer into packets where they are used to create sequences which are then transferred over to the destination device it also performs the task of maintaining the data that is to be transmitted without error and controls the data flow rate 
The protocols that are applied in the transport layer are TCP, Transmission Control Protocol, which is responsible for transmission of segments over the communication channel. Then we have UDP, User Datagram Protocol, which is responsible for identifying error in the data that is to be transmitted over the communication channel. Moving forward, the next layer is the Internet layer. This layer is responsible for the transmission of data over the network channel. That is, they provide a proper route for the packets to be transferred over the communication channel. The protocols that are applied by this internet layer are IP protocol, which is the internet protocol. This protocol assigns a unique address to a physical system so that it can be identified on the internet. Then we have ARP. Address Resolution Protocol This protocol is used to find the physical address of the system using the Internet Protocol address. In the end, we have the Network Access Layer. This layer is a combination of Data Link Layer and Physical Layer from the OSI model, where it is responsible for maintaining the task of sending and receiving data in raw bits. The raw bits are transferred from the sender side to the receiver side in the format of binary digit, which are zeros and ones. Let's move on with the advantages of using the TCP IP model. The TCP IP model assigns an IP address to each of the system that is available on the network channel so that they can be identified on the internet. Then they are also responsible for enacting different protocols on the data that is to be transmitted over the communication channel. The TCP IP model also enables the user and the system to access different format of data over the communication channel. Now let's take a look at the last topic for this session, which is the OSI model versus the TCP IP model. On comparing both of the network models, we get the OSI model consists of seven different layers, whereas the TCP IP model comprises of four different layers. The OSI model has separate session layer, presentation layer, whereas the TCP IP model comprises of a single application layer. The transport layer in the OSI model provides packet delivery protocols, but in the TCP IP model, transport layer does not provide any such protocols. The OSI model is implemented during network communication, but in case of TCP IP model, it is used as a reference model for the network channel. With this, we have reached the end of the module. If you have any questions regarding the topic, you can ask them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.